This is NECO 2023, question number three. And the question has the two parts, A and B. So question A says the length of the code AB in the diagram below. This is the very diagram. So that length of the code AB, this is the code AB. It is very 12, centi 12 centimeters. Look at it. And uh, with the center O and angle ACB. So the center of the circle is O and angle ACB. Look at it, it's 30 degrees as it is marked in the drawing. The questions are there under question A. You have Roman 1 and Roman 2. Question Roman 1 says you have to find the value of theta, this very angle at the center of the cycle. And Roman 2 says you are asked to find the, the radius of the cycle. This very cycle has a radius. A O O B O. You have to find the length of that very radius. Then question number B says so calculate the area of the shaded region. You can see this region. See a segment is shaded. You have to find the area of the shaded region. And uh, you have to write your answer correct to three significant figures. You have to take R22 or 7. And the Roman 2 under question B says uh, the triangle A O B A O B. What type of triangle is it? So this is the questions that you asked here. Solution to this very problem, what you do first, starting with the very first question number A. We asked it to find uh, to find the size of the angle theta. Look at the angle theta. It is angle at the center, subtended by this arc AB. Look at it. The same arc AB is the one that subtended this angle 30 degrees at the reverse circumference. Look at it. 30 degrees is at the reverse circumference, subtended by arc AB. And this arc AB is the one also subtended this angle theta. So remember, there is a theorem in the cycle geometry which says angle at the center, twice angle at the circumference, which means this theta will now be twice this angle, 30 degrees. So I have theta equals to 2 times 30 degrees, and this is the reason. Angle at the center equals to 2 times the angle at the circumference. And this multiplication, 2 by 30 degrees, gives you 60 degrees. So that is the value of theta, Roman 1, question A. So if I move to Roman 2, question Roman 2, question A, to find the radius of this very cycle. Of course, I have the length of code AB. So what I'm going to do is to remember the formula. For finding length of code, that length of code, the formula says is 2R sine, open bracket, theta divided by 2, where theta is the angle subtended by that code at the center of the circle. So if you take half of that angle, find it is sine multiplied by 2R. That gives you the length of the code. Of course, the length of the code is given in the question. So substituting 12 by this length of code and the theta by the angle we have just obtained here is 60 degrees. We we'll now have 12 equals to 2 multiplied by R. It is radius that we wanted to find multiplied by sine 60 divided by 2. So I'll now divide the 60 by 2 and find it is sine. Let us just move. So I'm going to have 12 equals 2, which I just copied 2 times, which I copied times R, times sine 30. This 30 is division of 60 by 2. So I'll now use my calculator to find the sine 30. Let me do that. So I'm going to have 12 equals to 2, which I copied times R, times 0 0.5. This 0 0.5 is the value of sine 30 degrees. So 0 0.5 times this the very 2 will give you answer 1. 1 times R is R. So you have 12 equals to R. Therefore, your R, that is the radius of the circle, is now going to be 12 centimeters. So this very cycle has a radius 12 cm. So this answered also Roman 2 under question number E. Let us move quickly. Answer question number B. There are two parts to calculate the area of the shaded region. This is the shaded region. It is a segment. So starting with the very first question, area of the shaded segment, remember we said uh, is the area of sector A, O, B, A, O, B, the sector A, O, B, minus the area of triangle A, O, B. This is the general formula for finding area of segment. Area of sector minus area of triangle. So let me just substitute the formula for finding area of sector and finding the area of this very triangle. So area of sector, remember, is given by the formula theta over 360 multiplied by pi r square. Then area of the triangle, remember, is half base times height. But because here I don't have the height, 
I can get this height in terms of uh, R, that is the hypotenuse of this very circle. If I divided this triangle, if I draw from this O perpendicular to the chord EB, that gives me the height. So that height can always be obtained by using this very formula. So you have R half 1 over 2, R square sine theta. This gives you the formula, or this gives you the area of the triangle. So substituted at this the value of R and the theta, that gives answer 60 over 360. This theta is now 60 multiplied by 22 over 7, multiplied by 12 squared. That is the radius of the cycle. Then minus 1 over 2 multiplied by R square is now 12 square, multiplied by sine 60. 60 is the angle at the center. So simply find this further, you now have 60 divided by 360 times 22 over 7 times 144. 144 is the result of squaring this in 12. Minus 1 over 2 times 144, the same square of 12. Then times uh, the value of sine 60, which is 0 0.866. So I'll now multiply the, this part also. I'll multiply this part, then let us subtract. So multiplication of 60 by 360 by 22 over 7 by 144 correctly give result 75.429. And the result of multiplying 1 over 2 by 144 by 0 0.866 correctly gives answer 62.354. And this subtraction is done correctly and rounding the answer to three significant figures. You now have your final result as starting point one centimeter square. This is now the area of this shaded segment. Then the last question asks is what type of triangle is this triangle AOB? Triangle AOB. I have the length of this side as 12 and the length of this side is 12 and this is radius so eventually this also side is going to be 12 centimeters so in short this triangle has all the three sides equal therefore the triangle is now going to be a collateral triangle. So let me just share with you finally how this question is marked during the marking of this very question, during the marking of this officially. So the very first mark started with the question is the bonus one mark. And this bonus one mark, when you have the angle theta or 60 degrees, that gives you bonus one mark. Next mark is the method mark, uh, method one mark, and this method one mark is when you substituted your theta and the length of the code and attempt to get the radius in the formula for finding length of code. That gives you method one mark. And in attempt to simplify it to get your R, up to this level you have another method one mark. And uh, when you have R exactly, that is the radius of the cycle as 12 centimeter correctly, you have the accuracy one mark. So in short, this question number E has four good marks. Moving to question number B, the marking scheme says the very first mark is method one mark is where you substitute in the formula for finding area of the shaded segment, that is area of sector minus area of the triangle. Substituting so your theta, your radius correctly, that gives you method one mark. And the next mark is another method one mark. In attempt to simplify it to find this area, you have method one mark. And when you have the area of the shaded segment as starting point one rounded to three significant figures correctly, gives you another method one mark, another accuracy mark. And the final mark is the bonus one mark. When you now set it, this triangle EOB is a collateral triangle. That gives you bonus one mark. So question number B also has four good marks.